So you want to know the reason why I said you should come visit me? This is the reason why. Could you be the one? Shh. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So before we move on with this video, I would like to say thank you to all my older new subscribers. If you're new and just passing by for the first time, please do not go away without clicking on the subscribe button down below and click on the notification bell because it will notify you of any time I upload a new video. So guys, today's video from the title, you can see that I am not in the mood to receive visitors. Yes. I'm not receiving visitors. I don't want you to visit me. I don't want you to visit my home anytime soon. I'm not laughing. <laughs> okay, here's the reason why. Guys, I finally got infected with COVID-19. Yes, this is the face of someone infected with COVID-19. Yo guys, so, okay, so guys, I've had it for like four days now. I tested positive to COVID-19 about four days ago now, yeah. And that's just not all. My whole family, like, we are four in the family. We are all COVID-19 positive. Can you beat that? So, <laughs> who brought it to the house? That's what you guys should ask. Okay. Actually, Hobby brought it to the house. Yeah. It happened that like five days ago. It was a Sunday night thereabouts. He was feeling a bit feverish and a bit sick. And we we're just wondering what is going on. So he decided to take the self-test at home to see if it is what he thinks. So he took the self-test and it came out negative. And we said, okay, thank God it's nothing like that. So there's nothing really going on. So a day before, no, two days before, my other boy came back from school and the next day, on a Saturday, the teacher called us and told us that she tested positive to COVID-19 so we should do a test for the little guy so he's not affected too. And we went immediately to do a test for him and he came out negative. So Hobby did his own test on Sunday came at negative so we we're all just okay no problem no cause for alarm there's nothing there and Sunday night I realized that my husband was very very tired and weak he couldn't fully lift his foot leave the bed he was having headache and all he took uh, the pump which is the paracetamol and we thought okay everything will be fine then the next day which is a Monday I took the little boy to school Maybe I was supposed to take him, but since we've done tests for both of them, we actually did tests for both of them, and it came out negative. We said, okay, why not? So I took the little boy to school, but the other boy stayed back home because his personal teacher, which, called, which is COVID positive, wasn't coming to school. Of course, she will be isolated at home, so my other boy stays at home. So I took the little boy to school, and I came back home, and I noticed my husband was still very weak and tired this time. He was kind of shivery, so I told him, let's take this test again. We don't know what's going on. Took the test and viola, it came out positive. Wow. We said, so this is it. Maybe that's why you'll be feeling this way. So guys, like I was saying, so I had to fix my wig. Nobody told me my wig was cooked, so I had to fix it. Away. So like I was saying, so we did hobby's test and it came out positive and we said oh now nah, this is trouble so what are we going to do so we took ourselves all of us went to the lab close by so we needed a retest to confirm we were only so sure of the self test we did at home so we needed the pcr test so we took ourselves to the lab with the little boy after i came back from school and we did pcr test for hobby and the three of us the other three of us did the rapid test we all came out negative and hobby soon we made positive so it was so clear now that okay there's a carrier in our house and we have to be careful so we came back home put her in the room we tried to make the children stay away from him i was the only one attending to him and i thought i was being very very careful like i was trying to be very careful i was attending to him he couldn't eat he couldn't it was very bad his symptoms were very bad so I was really helping him, giving him our juice. He did eat nothing. For almost three days, my husband didn't eat nothing. So 
that's how it went and the next day it did that particular night guys i too i was feeling some kind of way weird body pains and all that so i thought it was the normal because once in a while i do have body pains you know as a mom after all the shouting and all with the kids so i thought it was so too but still knowing that there's a positive person in the house already everybody is just hyper like our brain is just on alert so i decided to do the test the next morning which is a tuesday morning and lo and behold mine came out positive too and i said to myself anna you are vaccinated okay yeah vaccination doesn't mean that we won't catch the virus because that's what we're told just that okay it will be mild on us okay but see i thought you know the time i thought i would catch corona uh, covid was during the time it was the early stages yeah you know those times that corona was very scary that everybody was scared of corona and everybody was trying to be careful those were the times I was almost scared of catching it. Not now that I thought, okay, life is coming back to normal. It's not uh, so deadly anymore. Though, it's not even deadly. Unlike the way people used to be scared of COVID. These days, it's not like that anymore. A lot of people get sick and get well within two, three days, some self. So, though, I wasn't scared. I wasn't sad. I was just surprised that, oh, I caught it. Well, what can we do? Now I said the mom and dad has COVID-19. What about the kids? Who's going to take care of them? This is a tricky one. <coughs> so what are we going to do? I Meaning we have to test these kids again. And funny enough, that same evening, I noticed my little boy started feeling feverish and coughing. It's always with me. So why will he be exempted? That's how I said. I waited till evening. I did test for both of them and they came out positive. That was how my full family came out positive, COVID-19 positive. And guys, this is not a joke. Now I understand when people say COVID symptoms, feelings, and the, the stuff that comes to COVID is really difficult. I understood them, guys. I was like someone who was run over with a truck. My body, my head I had this bad cough for two days straight bad cough i was shivering always feeling cold inside within me shivering or oh, headache oh my god i said if i am feeling this way how will these kids be feeling because i always saw my hobby how he's been feeling for the past two days who is going to take care of who that's how the full family were working like a zombie in the house nothing luckily for us maybe three four days before this whole incident i already went to the supermarket so our house is a bit stock snacks and all so we really didn't need anything and if we ever needed anything my sister-in-law volunteered because my husband called her and she volunteered that she's going to help us with anything we need we shouldn't worry so that's how this whole family was home on isolation with covid everybody this one will cough this one will cough everybody will cough myself my fever wasn't very high i was the highest was 37.7 when my husband got to 38, 38.5, my older son was the worst. He got to 39.5. But thank God we called their doctor and their doctor prescribed what we should administer to them. Vitamins, paracetamol, if their temperature goes high and all. So that's how we've been managing COVID. Managing. First, second, the hobby zone was... Today now is the fourth day for me. Hobby soon is the fifth day for him. So me and Hobby, we are a bit better. And funny enough, the kids, since last night, after two days, the third day, they started getting better. They started eating again. They started playing. And I'm saying, okay, should we retest? But I was told that, okay, at least after five, six days or more, you should do the test again to find out if you're still positive or negative. Well... I decided to do it again last night because the kids were playing about and see everybody came out positive again. So we're still positive. The fifth day for hobby, fourth day for me and the kids. We're all still positive. Being in the house, coughing, the hard times are over, yeah. Those times we were really sick and coughing and all that, they are over. That's why you see I could come up with a makeup today. <laughs> As in I just wanted to brighten up my mood because for the past Three, four days it has been hurt. It has not been easy for us. Nobody was even asking for food. We didn't cook. Imagine me, my own household that I used to cook like two, three kinds of me because everybody's speaking. Nobody was, nobody wanted food. Nobody was hungry. 
So that's how we've been, you know. At least today, I feel better. I said, okay, let me do my makeup and come and update you guys well as we're going on in my life. That's why I said nobody should come to my house, not purposely. So, you see the reason why I said nobody should visit me? It is a house of COVID, a house of COVID-19. Though we are all getting better. Luckily for us, nobody has fever anymore. We're just waiting for the other symptoms to clear totally. As for me, <coughs> I still have a bit of cough and a bit of blocked nose, but it's getting better compared to two days ago. You should have seen me. Uh, the symptoms from COVID, they are bad. It's really bad. It's not easy. I was just feeling some kind of weird way as in I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't know what to do with myself. Ah, oh, guys, it's not easy. So that's my story. That's the reason I said don't come to my house. Not that I meant it. <laughs> yeah. So when the whole COVID and stuff is cleared and <laughs> we have to do a lot of cleaning the house okay i can start receiving visitors again so guys that is my story by the way do you like my makeup this is the face of someone with covid 19. <laughs> do you like my makeup i actually have a video of it coming up if you want the video you just let me know in fact you don't have to let me know because the video will eventually still come up i made a video of it as I was doing the makeup, just a short video because I was actually focused on the eyeshadow look. So, guys, that is all for this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.